Sports, uh, Twin Cities physician is now a patient in a Montana hospital. He was hiking with friends when bears attacked them. He was rescued Sunday in the Granite Lake area of the Bear Tooth Mountains. That is on the Wyoming Montana border. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield has more on the attack and she joins us now. Hi, Susan Elizabeth. Amelia, Dr. Bradley Johnson and three friends were hiking in a very desolate area. The Wyoming Game and Fish Department tells me he was hiking ahead of a group when he was mauled by two bears. Dr. Johnson is an ear, nose and throat specialist. He works at Oakdale ENT. He has offices in Plymouth, Maple Grove and in Robbinsdale. You have to go see this doctor. You have to see Dr. Johnson. You don't. That's Dr. Johnson in a recent video for his business. He has also been featured for a surgical story on WCCO. Johnson was enjoying some time away from his practice on a hiking trip. The friends were hiking Muddy Creek Trail when officers say there was a surprise encounter and two bears mauled Dr. Johnson. Dr. Johnson had bear spray on him, but the attack happened so fast he was not able to pull it out. Another hiker found Johnson and his friends, and two hours later, he was rescued by helicopter. This story is shaking up avid hikers like Paul Jensen, who has also hiked that area. This guy's injuries, if you read, read the press reports, he had injuries to his shoulder, arm, and back. So it kind of suggests that he was able to do the recommended uh, defensive posture, which is lie down on your stomach, cover your neck with your hands, and don't let the bear roll you over. And Wyoming officers did tell me that Dr. Johnson was found stomach down, so it appears he was doing that bear pose. He's being treated now at a Montana hospital. His friend who stayed with him was also rescued after a seven hour hike out of the woods. And Amelia, this is rare. Officials in the area, they tell me they see about one attack in this area of Wyoming wow. a year. All right, thank you, Susan Elizabeth.